I'm just going to get right into this. The Steelers lost 41-10. to They were down 41-3 to at some point, and they were terrible in all, excuse, in all aspects of the game. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. They had terrible execution. They were not ready to play this football game. The situational coaching was terrible. Tell me, the Bengals were up by 24, and they went for it on fourth and one. But the Steelers were down by 21, and they punt the ball away. Right back to the Bengals whenever they had scored in every single possession leading up to that point. The play calling, whenever it actually mattered and they weren't playing from behind, was terrible. The execution was terrible. That This is a defensive-minded team. The defense played like crap overall. Even if the defense played well, they still would have lost because the offense played like crap. Special teams. Presley Harvin had a good game, I guess. Chris Boswell made an extra point in a field goal, and his kickoffs weren't bad. So I guess the special teams was fine. But offense and defense, the execution, the coaching, every single thing about this game for the Pittsburgh Steelers was absolutely abysmal, and it's not acceptable. This is the closest thing to a must-win game, if you don't consider it to be a must-win game. I personally did. It's the closest thing to a must-win game that you can get. I mean, you have the hardest schedule when it comes to the teams, you know, the amount of playoff teams that you're playing and their record right now. When it comes to your schedule, you have the hardest remaining schedule in the league. You need to win this game to build momentum. You're playing AFC North football, and you go up there, and you you play like crap. Roethlisberger played terrible. He played like crap. He threw two easy interceptions to the defense. We got a pick with Minka. It was followed up by a pick six to who else other than Mike Hill, and congratulations to him. This Bengals team is a good team, and if they lost, I still would. If the Steelers lost by seven or something like that, I still would have been sad, but at least it was respectable. No, they went out there, and they lost by 31. They got a touchdown in garbage time. Okay, there's absolutely no excuses to be made. This team played like crap. People need to be punished and things need to be done because let me tell you, this team does not deserve to make the playoffs. If they make it cool, they might as well because either way, they're just good enough to so that way they're going to get mediocre draft capital. So they might as well make the playoffs, but they're not going to do that. That's not happening. If they play like this, they're going to lose the rest of their games. And I don't think they will, but I certainly don't think they're going to be making the playoffs. This is team they that tied to the Lions if there's one thing that that killed this season overall it was that because even if the Steelers had won that game it would have it would have made this loss even though it was bad it would have made it less painful right they're on a three-game win streak they tied with the Lions they lost to the Chargers understandably but they were still a good chance they could have won and then they decided that we're going to sit there and lay an egg in Cincinnati easily the worst performance I've ever seen from this team. They played better in the wild card game against the Browns. The only thing that I can say is at least they were better in the first quarter this time, and that's not saying much because they gave up 28 in the first quarter against the Browns. It was 28-0. to zero. Please explain to me how this happened. People can say, oh, the Steelers are bad, but they're not this bad. Even if they are bad, they are not this bad. I do not know why this happened. They weren't prepared. They didn't execute well. The offense sucked. The defense sucked. The play calling sucked. The scheme sucked. Every single thing about this team straight up sucked. The situational awareness sucked. Common sense sucked. We couldn't catch a ball. We could not run the ball. We could not block. We could not throw. We could not do anything really at least we sacked joe burrow this time guys good job you didn't do it last time at least you sacked him this time right this team this was the probably if this was probably the biggest game of the season for them i don't know how it couldn't be so i think it's very agreeable that this is the biggest game of the season up to this point and you go out there and do that i have never seen the pittsburgh steelers play worse football and i'm confident in saying that i've seen bad performances i've never seen them do this tomlin did not have them prepared whatsoever and it just looked like honestly whatever if you played with your family and a turkey bowl on Thanksgiving. Honestly, if you put your family on the field as a team, you would have had a similar result today in Cincinnati. It wouldn't have made much of a difference if your family turkey bowl team or the Pittsburgh Steelers were playing. They looked like crap. They, Joe Hayden, we miss him. We miss him so much. He wouldn't. We wouldn't have won this game with Hayden, but let me tell you, James Pierre was taken back to preschool. And if, considering Joe Hayden's contract is going to expire after this year, and we most likely are not going to have the cap to bring him back, considering all the other players we have to re-sign, that's very pl- problematic with this secondary because because they were exposed today. They were exposed against the Chargers, and this is just a terrible stretch of football for the Steelers. You could expect the days of our Steelers to be coming tonight. And just just so all of you know, the past two weeks, the NFL has copyrighted those. I have no idea why. I'm making them the same way that I used to, but they've been copyright strikes, so hopefully that doesn't happen tonight. Hopefully you guys can expect one, but if not, man... I'll certainly be back. You can watch my original thoughts in more in-depth of the first half 
Nothing really changed in the second half other than they scored a touchdown. They continued to play like crap. Joe Mixon ran all over us, which he's a good running back. But, I mean, to the extent that they were running the football, it's insane. It was insane. The Bengals, didn't. it looked like they barely even tried. They barely had to lay a finger to sit there and beat us today. This was embarrassing. This was pathetic. This was a disgrace to the Steelers organization. But what do I know? The standard is the standard. Thanks, Mike Tomlin. I really appreciate it. Yeah. You know, always, go Steelers, always. But, I mean, my goodness, you got to play better, man. Come on. Get your head out of your butt. And there's just one more thing I forgot to add that I'd like to add now. The Steelers have lost three in a row to the Bengals. The last time they beat them was the first time they played them last year in Pittsburgh when they, the Steelers advanced to 9-0, and I believe, was the game that they beat them. They have looked like utter trash the past three times they've played the Bengals, today being the worst. They lost to Ryan Finley on Monday Night Football in Cincinnati, which really, the football team lost. They were due to lose, okay. A loss to the Bills was, you know, understandable. But that loss to the Bengals is what really changed their season for the worst. That was the true tur turning point, if it wasn't already before then. Then, they lay a dud against the Bengals at home, right? Tyler Boyd says they gave up. It's right. He's right. They did give up. There was still a chance they could have won. They gave up. The play calling was terrible. Ben's execution was terrible. And finally, they go out there today and they play the worst football I've ever seen them play in my life as a Steelers fan. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Mike Tomlin, he cannot prepare for this team. And it's becoming clear. Cincinnati, right, they've played good football. And they played good football today. They played good football all three games. But... They really just had to sit back and watch the Steelers do the dirty work as they just proceed to do absolutely nothing and just say, here, take the ball. Here, take the ball. Here, take this 50-yard pass. Here, take this 25-yard run. He has no answers for them, and it's becoming clear. This is three times in a row. We were dominating the Bengals from 2017, 2016, 2017. Actually, no, we had won every single game from, I believe, the second game in 2015 up until the first game in 2020. We had won every single game against the Bengals. Right? We almost had 10 in a row, and now we've lost three in a row. We have not beat the Bengals in over a year, okay? Tomlin, you have no answers for this team, and it's becoming evident. You need help coaching this team. You need help. The players need help playing them. And it could become to the point where it's systemic that, oh, my goodness, the Bengals are owning the Steelers now, you know? We don't know that. It's three games. I'm not trying to overreact, but right now, Mike Tomlin has no answers for the Bengals.